Hi, so today we're going to talk about the importance of sealing up your sump basin and what to do if you have a pedestal sump pump that can make this a challenge. If you have drain tile under your slab, you have a prime situation. In most cases, you want to position your suction hole over the drain tile and suck directly from it, even cutting a hole in the top of the drain tile. That way you get good airflow and pull from underneath your entire slab. A sump basin is a good place for radon to come into a home. But after a radon mitigation system is installed, if not sealed, you'll be pulling conditioned air out of your home. So you want to seal that sump basin. Now in most cases, we will throw on a flat cover, either a solid ABS or a Lexan cover that is see-through. If there's a submersible pump, we will use a hole saw and cut the needed holes for the pipe and the cords to run out and seal it up. But a pedestal pump can make sealing the sump basin more difficult. This situation calls for a pedestal sump cover, which we manufacture and sell on our website. Let's now see how one can be installed. The first obstacle is the outlet pipe. By setting the sump cover next to the pipe, you want to mark the pipe level with the cover. Go down about 2 inches from your initial mark, and that's your cut mark. Be sure to unplug your pump before cutting, and cover your pump with a plastic bag to protect it from the water that will be raining down on top of it. With a handsaw, cut until you have water coming out. And then use your hand to direct the water spray back into the sump. Depending on the amount of water in the pipe, it can take a while to drain. With the pipe cut, you then want to position your sump cover in place. Take off the Lexan cover and pull the cords for your pump through the opening so the cover will sit flat on the floor. Now mark in the inside top of the cover where the pipe will be coming through the cover. And then mark the outside perimeter of the cover where it sits on the floor. In this situation, we have to make a hole for a drain pipe coming from a furnace, which you can make on the bottom of the sump cover. For the size hole saws you're going to need for this project, you can find a link in the comments below to a chart on our website. So we then drill till our bit goes through and then flip the cover and drill from the top down. Now drill the hole for your cord seal, depending on where your outlet is in relation to this sump.
Next, apply a good sized bead of caulk around the mark on the floor where the cover will sit. We use Radon Pro sealant, which has good adhesion and low VOCs. Then after fishing your cord up through the hole, place the cover on the caulk and get everything lined up. Put on your pipe seal and cord seal. Then drill a few holes into the concrete and use concrete screws to secure the cover and keep it from moving. Next, use a rubber coupling to reconnect your discharge pipe. And like what was mentioned earlier, if you have any other hoses that need to drain into your sump, you can drill these holes along the bottom edge of your cover. And then use the appropriate size pipe seal for those hoses. Then add an extra bead of caulk along the edge of your cover to ensure an airtight seal and then smooth it out. The Lexan allows you to be able to see inside your cover and if need be can be removed to fix any issues with your pump. And it just looks cool. If you found this video useful, feel free to subscribe and like for future videos on radon mitigation. You can find our pedestal sum covers on our website at shopradon.com as well as anything else you might need for your radon mitigation. For more information on a do-it-yourself radon mitigation, you can go to our other website, indoorairhealthadvisor.com. You can find the links in the description below. Thank you and have a good day.